Hi, I'm Matt Sargent with Efficiency Vermont. Today we're going to spend some time in the attic. Now most houses have some insulation in the attic, but many older homes don't have enough insulation by today's standards. So we'll talk about how to upgrade the attic insulation, and equally as important, we're going to talk about air sealing. When you're in the attic, it's a good idea to wear protective clothing and a dusk mask. Careful of where you stand. Don't step between the ceiling joists where you could fall through. Put a board across the joists to give yourself a nice safe place to walk. And watch out for sharp objects like these nails in the ceiling. It's a good idea to make sure that the attic is nice and dry. This one's well ventilated. You can see the vents behind me. Make sure you call a contractor if you see things like excess moisture, knob and tube wiring, or vermiculite insulation. Warm air in the house escapes into the attic through any cracks and gaps in the ceiling. Now the insulation in the attic doesn't stop or even slow down this air movement, so it's critical that before we insulate, we have to do some air sealing. Places like plumbing and electrical penetrations, recessed lighting, chimneys, attic hatches, where the wall meets the ceiling, should all be checked for gaps and air sealed before we do any insulating. This is the attic stairway. This is the biggest hole between the house and the attic that we've got. So we want to make sure that it's really well air sealed, and that's what this weather stripping here is doing, and that it's well insulated. And here we can see we've got two pieces of rigid foam board insulation to sit on top of this weather stripping. To get to today's standard of R49, we'd need at least four layers. Now that we've taken a look at the air sealing, let's examine the insulation. This is cellulose insulation. It's mixed with some loose-filled fiberglass. Underneath, there's about an inch of old fiberglass. The whole thing's about seven and a half inches deep. So it's about R25. And to bring it into compliance with today's code, we need R49. We're gonna have to effectively double the insulation here. If you have a recessed can, you have to check to see if it's rated for contact with the insulation. If the can is not rated for insulation contact, it needs to have an insulation dam around it so that insulation doesn't touch it. Chimneys require special treatment. Call Efficiency Vermont to find out more. For this attic, it makes sense to go with loose fill or bat insulation. Loose fill insulation is often installed by a professional, or you can rent or borrow the equipment and do it yourself. Bat insulation comes in rolls or bales. Make sure the joist cavity is filled to the top before you install a second layer across the tops of the joists. It's important to make sure there's no voids or compressions in bat insulation. Not all attics are alike. You may see some things in your attic that we didn't talk about today. And if you're not sure how to proceed, get in touch with a contractor or call us at Efficiency Vermont. We're always here to help.